my point is like nothing happens by accident there are no accidents there are no coincidences if things are happening it's because it's an invitation to either learn something grow expand move in a new direction let something go release something transmute something transform something create something it's all potential it's up to you to take that potential and do something with it but for anyone who's not feeling connected anyone who doesn't know who they are what they're doing here oh honey I ask that you just close your eyes and pray meditate to me that they're the same thing but if that's even too lofty for you then just close your eyes and breathe consciously in and out and just observe what comes up continue breathing you know this alone the thing is we don't have to even seek God for right for it to exist we are source we were all created by source I don't care what color your skin is I don't care what gender you identify as I don't even care what you've done in your life and if it's been really horrible, it's like you're still God. Period. It's in our resistance to that that we stray from ourselves. Not from some vengeful God, because I don't really see things that way. I do believe in karma. I do believe you get what you put out. So you sow your own path just by being who you are. And every time I look at the clock it's like a sandwich number four with four at the end nine with nine at the end eight with eight at the end this is like a divine balance moment take this opportunity to recalibrate close your eyes go within breathe trust surrender let go of this facade whatever reality <clears throat> whatever version of you you've created through trauma or through fear or through whatever it's created if it's created let it go let it fall away. Let down your armor. Take off your makeup. If you're covered, just like let yourself be seen. See yourself. This life is not what we think it is. It's a lot closer to a lucid dream than it is to the world that we think it is. Remember that. Expand your mind and understand that there's a lot more going on here than you might know. And the more tapped in you get, the more in control you're going to feel. And the, the more in control you feel, the more you're going to realize you don't need control. Just let go. You don't have to control everything because you're not the one in charge. You're making God a liar. You're not in charge. I mean, you can pretend that you are. But at some point you're going to be forced to stop and look in a different way and I think that time is coming very soon so do whatever you want with this message I just needed to record it I needed to get it out there because I am a servant of God plain and simple plain and fucking simple and I'm not scared to admit it I think this is an incredible path to live it's scary as hell it's not for the faint of heart but I wouldn't change it Go home to God, go home to yourself, go home to your nature, go plant a tree, go sit in the grass, go act like a child in an uplifting way. Revisit curiosity, revisit hope. And if you aren't getting what you need in this moment right now, ask yourself how you can and go make it happen. Period. You have a lot more control than you realize. I mean, you know what I mean? In your experience, choose to enjoy it. Choose to surrender instead of fighting it. Choose to appreciate the beauty in everyday little things again. It will bring you back to life. Listen to music. Dance. Sing. Spend time with people that make you feel good, that make you feel curious, that make you feel playful. And pay attention to how you feel when you're around the people in your life. When you leave, especially, how are you feeling? 
and you might have to let go of some people to find this peace, this equilibrium, and I highly recommend that you do. Because on the other side of all the baggage that you've been carrying is a version of you that is magical. And you might be afraid to, to witness the true magic that you hold. And you might be especially afraid because you're worried that other people are going to judge it. But that's a judgment that you're giving. You're judging yourself. You're the one judging yourself. Recognize that. When you, when you leave the experience to view from someone else's vantage point and you picture them judging you, that's actually you judging you. It's not them. That's what needs to be addressed first. Don't worry about them. Worry about you. How small are you forcing yourself to be? To fit in? You know? To be seen. Are you the kind of person that needs to put on a mask and do the hair and make sure you know that everything has to be perfect before you are able to be seen, even by yourself? Or at least received? Recognize that you're enough right now. You don't have to do anything different. And trust me, I battle with this stuff too. But it's like over the years, as I get older, I'm just releasing these layers of bullshit that I've picked up. Because when I was a kid, I didn't have that. I was all hope. I was all... I wasn't conditioned, you know? We have to unlearn that conditioning. So, yeah. I could talk about this for a long time, but I think I'm gonna just hit it here. And I'll come back later and share more. But thanks for those, if you stuck around, uh, thank you for hanging with me. This is a very, I've never posted anything like this. This is a little different, so I love you. I'll see you next time.